How much do Papa John's franchise owners make every year? Papa John's pizzas are everywhere, and Papa is always in the house, in my house. I love Papa John's. They're probably one of the most reasonable takeout pizza shops. It's very consistent, and they usually have great pizzas. There's a massive opportunity for them because everybody loves Papa John's. The marketing, the commercials, it's everywhere, and you can make a lot of money by owning a Papa John's. But how much can you actually make? How much do you actually profit? What are the costs? What are the franchise fees? Let's go through this today so you can know before buying this franchise if it is worth your time or not. Okay, so how much does it cost to open a Papa John's franchise? Well, their website is very broad, just like every franchise that I have reviewed. It's very broad, $188,615 spanning all the way to $975,000. That's a massive broad amount of money. So I said, okay, if we think of it just an average Papa John's, it's probably going to be around $400,000 to start. And including in that is their franchise fee of $25,000. So there's an initial franchise fee of $25,000. So included in that, that's included in that $400,000. If you were to finance that $400,000, you'd likely have to put 20% down. That would be $80,000 down, and you'd have to get a loan for $320,000. That would put you at a $4,228 a month payment at a 10% 10-year loan. The other cost associated with Papa John's is their royalty fee. That means for every gross sale that comes in, a percentage of that goes back to Papa John's. There's a 5% royalty fee, and then there's also an 8% marketing fee. So that's a total of 13%. The marketing fee is a little bit high, but it, but I do understand why it's pretty high because um, you know, Papa John's has a lot of commercials. They're getting the name out there, so I do understand that. That's pretty pretty high, but again, they're bringing business into your store, and you're probably not going to be able to afford a Super Bowl commercial as a one-man shop, but together, they can afford that and get people in the door. Um, some requirements if you're wanting to start this franchise is that you need to have a net worth of 750000 you also need to have liquidity of $250,000. That's liquid cash, liquid capital to be able to invest in this. That's probably the down payment and then some working working capital. Um, sorry about that. I was looking at something. And how much can we actually make in cash flow in this business? The average gross sales per franchise is $1.2 million a year. That's a lot of money. A lot of pizzas being thrown out the door, but it's very quick. Very quick transactions. That's $100,000 a month that the Papa John's is bringing in. That's $25,000 a week. $3,572 a day that Papa John's is making on average each franchise. The average profit margin of a Papa John's, it was very between 10 to 30 to 20 to 5. But in the average, it looked like it was going to be about 15% profit margin. That's $180,000 a year that you as the franchise owner would be bringing in. $15,000 a month, $3,700. 750 a week. So that's pretty good. Pretty good profit margin. If you can get your sales up to 1.2, you're making $180,000 as a franchise owner. That's pretty good money. Like with every franchise I review, the issue that I see with franchises is that you're not going to find financial freedom on one franchise. $180,000 a year is great money, and it's maybe more money than you could ever make working for somebody else. But that being said, that's not going to lead to financial freedom. You need more than that. This whole model, the whole franchise model is set up that you have to own more than one franchise to earn financial freedom. So $180,000, great money, but it's not enough for you to really live on. Okay, so that includes the uh, cost with operating a, a restaurant, variable expenses, buying the food, buying any of the raw material, all that stuff, okay? So um, what are the positives of this franchise that I really have an opinion on? I think, number one, I really like Papa John's because it does say that you can be a semi-absentee owner. That means that you can be there sometimes and you can be away sometimes. Once you've set up management, once you've set up the restaurant, the Papa John's, you can kind of step away for a little bit. You're always going to be involved. You should be involved in every business that you invest money in because you want to know what's going on. So the nice thing is you could potentially be full absentee if you have a whole 
string of stores set up and you have management in place, um, I think you can get to that and Papa John's is okay with you getting to that. Pretty profitable. Pizza is one of the top, I think, five most profitable food items you could sell. So very profitable. It's always going to be profitable. Um, very scalable. Um, you can easily scale by buying another franchise. And uh, the nice thing is that they have that model set up in which you can do that. If you're an independent pizza shop owner, very hard for you to scale to another location um, just because you need the help of um getting everything set up. Papa John's very efficient. They could probably get a franchise set up within three to six months, even potentially around a two month range if it's already kind of set up and ready to go. So very fast that you can scale as long as you have the capital to do so. Uh, the next thing is you're gonna get help from the marketing standpoint. Every franchise has that marketing fee and I think Papa John's is really doing a good job of getting that marketing fee because I see them all over the place. So when I think of pizza, carry out pizza, I'm thinking about Papa John's, which is really good. So that would be hard for you to obtain by yourself without going a franchise route. Some of the negatives, as with potentially any business, is the employees. You're going to have people that you're going to have to fire, hire. You're going to have people that don't create a great product up to Papa John's standards, and that could potentially put you in trouble with the franchise. Or so you want to make sure that you're really hiring the right people, managing the right people, setting controls in place so management can do their job okay the next thing is a negative and this is a kind of a negative positive with every franchise is brand protection and brand creativity as you've seen in the news in the past papa john's has been in some news articles of their leadership potentially saying things allegedly right so i don't know if they're necessarily true or false obviously i would have you do your own independent research but any news article that's written about that franchise that potentially tarnishes the brand or the reputation of that franchise or that brand that you have a franchise of could potentially hurt your sales. I don't know if it hurt people's sales when those allegations came out, but that could potentially happen in the future. And unfortunately, you as a franchise owner don't really have control over the big mothership. So that's one potential negative. But in the positive, um, there are guidelines in which other franchise owners have to protect the brand and make sure that there's standard operating procedures. So that does help everything out. And for the most part, that usually doesn't happen very often. Now, the other negative is that you don't have full creativity on what you can do with the brand because it's not really your brand. You're using the brand and you're giving them a royalty fee. So you can't do whatever you want to. You have to do whatever's in within reason. I'm sure you could reach out to marketing at the franchise uh, mothership and say, hey, could I do this? And they might work with you. But again, you can only do so much as a franchise owner, okay? So I think this is overall a really good franchise. I would give this a nine out of 10 because I really think that pizza is always gonna be around. Um, it's proven, it's been around for a long time. There's probably an opportunity to buy an existing franchise and really scale it. So um, if you wanna learn how to start, go to Papa John's website, click on franchise and do your own independent research. All the research that I've done is from my opinion, so I may be wrong on certain things. So I would really reach out to them to get the full 100% version of what it is to start a Papa John's franchise. Um, if you like videos like this, hit like and subscribe. I bring content on how to start businesses, franchises, and how to grow and scale your business to the next level. Thank you so much and take care.